We are going to talk today about this university pathway program, basically, that allows you to um, get into American universities without passing TOEFL uh, and, you know, getting fully pre prepared here in the States and you kind of get acquainted with the environment, you get acquainted with the state, so it makes the process easier. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm filming from ILSC San Francisco today and I have a guest on my channel. Her name is Olga. Uh, thank you, Olga, for joining us. Thank you. Uh, Olga is a UPATH program coordinator here at LSC. So basically, she helps students who are learning English here get into American universities. That's, That's right. right. Okay, yeah. great. And we are going to talk today about this university pathway program, basically, that allows you to um, get into American universities without passing TOEFL uh, and, you know, getting fully pre prepared here in the States and you kind of get acquainted with the environment, you get acquainted with the state, so it makes the process easier. Um, so Olga, my first question would be, when should I start such a program? Oh, well, the earlier the better, <laughs> okay. but it all depends on your language level. Mm -hmm. So before you arrive, uh, we're going to assess uh, your reading, writing and grammar skills as well as your speaking. Mm -hmm. And based on that, uh, we can give you an estimate of how long you should stay here. Uh, but I would say the minimum, the minimum required, uh, required uh, length of stay for the UPATH program is eight weeks. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, maximum you can extend up and, to and one year. Really, yeah, for, for the advanced, right? That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if, you, if if your English is advanced, uh, then it's definitely a minimum. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And this is both for bachelor's and for master's program, right? Yes, that's right. So at least Sorry, eight weeks. <laughs> we have a dog here, and he's going crazy. I think he's going to join us later. <laughs> yeah, he's just having fun. Okay. Um, can you name some universities that? students normally get into after graduating? Uh, okay, well, we can look at uh, Lincoln University in Oakland, which is extremely popular among uh, Thai students. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at uh, some East Coast universities, uh, which would be uh, at Alphi, Auburn, uh, Washington, mm -hmm. uh, American University, and also uh, Florida, Florida State University. We also have a partnership with uh, with Boston Architectural College, which is uh, quite popular among Taiwanese students mm -hmm. who are studying design. Mm -hmm. And uh, these are probably our best top class university, Humboldt, Humboldt University. Those who are planning to stay in California, we can uh, look at some universities in Arizona. Mm -hmm. Arizona, Northern Arizona University also provides a pretty good scholarship for bachelor degree students. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it can cover like 80% of the tuition. Really? Yes. Wow. Yes, but only for bachelors. That's okay. Right. And what do you need uh, to get that scholarship? So basically you need to go through your path program. That's right. And you need to have pretty high GPA. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, great. It's what is your average what is grade? That pretty high, like three three point five, right? Three point five. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, and you need to be quite an outstanding student uh, mm -hmm. in in high school if you're coming from the high school. Okay. Uh, let's say. So, and also you need to submit your financial statement. So, mm -hmm. for example, you might not have. Um, enough funds to cover your tuition, mm -hmm. so then uh, the preference would be given to you. Okay, and do you need to pass SAT for that? Uh, no, you do not. Oh, no. no. Okay, no. guys. Arizona State, right? Yes. Northern, no, 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 Northern no, no, Arizona University. Northern Arizona University, no SAT, no TOEFL, no TOEFL. No for you pass. Yes, no IELTS. 80% scholarship. That's amazing. Yes, it <laughs> and is. And the, the level of uh, living, like the price level of living is also really low. In uh, it is, it's it not is. It's like California. Yeah, right? yeah, and the climate is pretty much the same as here. So okay. it's, it's a little warmer over there, but uh, they, it's, it's, it's not that bad. So, and it's, it's really nice. Mm -hmm. um, so usually, yeah, it's, it's one of the top schools that some of our students would want to go to. Um, and a lot of our students go to a community college mm -hmm. in California. Um, why? Well, there are great universities like UC Berkeley. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. we're not partners with UC Berkeley. And yeah, they wouldn't find know what, what schools are in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but what you can do is you can go to a community college for two years. Community college like um, 
San Mateo mm -hmm. Colleges of Silicon Valley, which includes three colleges. You can go to Foothill and Duanza. And some of these colleges, they have a partnership with these universities. It is mm -hmm. not guaranteed, but a lot of students get into UC Berkeley, UCLA, mm -hmm. San Francisco State after completing uh, the two years. two years in and a then, college. And then two years. At the and they save tons of money. So yeah, that's yeah this, is, this is a pretty common program for America. So they started doing their first and second year at college. Mm -hmm. Save a lot of money, easy to get in. And That's then right. they just transfer uh, into the third year of a prestigious university. That's right. Uh, and they only get a diploma from that university. It doesn't mention any college, so I think it's, yes. a, yeah. it's yeah. a great, great way to do that. Yeah. Um, okay, so, um, but if you're preparing for a master's degree, then you would also do GRE and GMAT prep, right? GRE and GMAT, that's right, mm -hmm. yes. Some universities do not require it, like Lincoln University in mm -hmm. Oakland. And, um, Alliant University as well. Uh, we have a list of other schools that do not require GMAT or GRE. Um, some other schools would, would require uh, these tests. And well, this is where English comes in handy. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's also true because our students are uh, passing GRE and I think this is, well, this is the hardest exam you can think of, yeah. I guess. <laughs> it's yeah. really tough. Yeah. Okay. And so let's talk a little about uh, the price of the mm -hmm. program uh, and what you do during that. So it's not just a language course, right? It's also, do you do academic stuff like, I don't know, academic writing? Or... Uh, well, uh, students uh, have to be enrolled in uh, at school and mm -hmm. they have to be full-time intensive, which mm -hmm. means they have to uh, be with us 28 lessons, 28 mm -hmm. lessons a week, which is Monday through Thursday, nine to three, and on Fridays 9 to 12.30, so they have to maintain uh, these courses. Um, and they can be a part of the UPATH program, which doesn't cost anything on top. Mm -hmm. So they just pay for their classes, mm -hmm. simply. For their English language classes. That's right, mm -hmm. yes. But they get any help from me for, for free. So okay. they can come and talk to me, and uh, they get help with uh, application letters, they get help with um, resumes sometimes if it's required, with essays and things like this. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, but the uh, price for English courses depends on how long you're going to stay. Um, Alice has a lot of promotions. So okay, like, yeah, we actually have one promotion going on. And yeah. if you check out uh, languageroot.com, I'm going to leave all the links below. Uh, we always have the lowest prices, so uh, I think we have 30% discount right now for all the courses, but we have discounts throughout the year. Um, yeah, and there was another question about. Yeah, how, so what's the, so the minimum is eight weeks and normally like what's the normal length of the program? Uh, well, it, it, I think usually it's about uh, six months, mm -hmm. six to eight months. And uh, just uh, to kind of accommodate uh, students and students need to get accustomed to American culture, yeah. and especially if it's their first time. Mm -hmm. uh, living here and being a tourist here is two different things and definitely they have to come long time in advance. Then, if they apply in uh, a master's program, they have to apply, well, I would say at least uh, two months before the application deadline. I would say like six or seven. Yes, if well, you want to get some financial yeah. aid, because financial aid is distributed in round That's one, round right. two, and then it's gone. Yeah. So, yeah. okay. Yeah, but if you just want to get into it and you don't need any financial so at least two months before the deadline. Mm -hmm. So, just give yourself enough time. Yeah, cool. And actually, guys, um, if you're coming to San Francisco, we have an Italian student coming on Sunday, and I'm going to film with him because this is an advantage because I live really close to school, uh, <laughs> so I can come by and you know give you also some advice about uh, nice. university admissions. So yeah, take a chance. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, and so maybe the the last uh, question would be about pricing of the universities. Like mm -hmm. normally, what's what's the cost of college? What's the cost of a master's program? A uh, community college can be from six to about fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's it's pretty cheap. It's relatively cheap. And when it comes to university as well, again, it depends the range from probably the cheapest would be about uh, 15,000 a year mm -hmm. up to 60, okay. 60 grand a year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And then you could get some scholarship, but like a yeah. discount maybe. Yeah, you, you can depends get on the university. That's yeah. right. But mm -hmm. sometimes, I mean, if you have had pretty high GPA and um, 
if uh, you're doing pretty great, um, they might give you maybe 10% discount. But mm -hmm. I mean, if you're paying fifty thousand a year, five thousand is yeah. not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And also, the the good another good thing about the program, if you're struggling with your recommendation letters, that you can mm -hmm. get a recommendation from a teacher who's here. Yeah. Because I know many people are like I've graduated from my school like four years ago. I don't remember any teachers mm -hmm. how they get a recommendation. Yeah, yeah. Letter. Well, they have to stay here for a long period of time, like at least five, five to six months. Yeah, because the recommender has to know you. It's not. Yes. Like, yeah. Hey, that's right. can you give me a recommendation? <laughs> Okay, cool. Um, I think this was it, guys. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask them in the comments. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and subscribe to my Instagram, which is Lingua Marina. And thank you so much, Olga, thank you. for helping us today with all of the questions. Thanks. Okay, bye bye. Just say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, guys. Bye bye. Come to San Francisco. <laughs>